Um, honestly, uh, my life is like an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Um, so, I'm, uh, this is a hilarious story, but it actually happened. So, I'm in a bathroom stall, uh, in a tiny restaurant bar, and this is a, a hole-in-the-wall, uh, you know, a tiny restaurant uh, that's very, very narrow, and I'm in there with my attendant, obviously, and this is winter time, so I'm dressed up in, like, thousands of layers, I got, you know, ochres are like onions with tons of layers on, and I'm dressed up in all these layers, and I can hardly move, and I'm in there with my attendant, you know, trying to uh, find my dick in my pants, pardon my French, and trying to take a piss, well, uh, my uh, hands are kind of frozen, you know, and I can't find my dick, and I'm struggling with the zipper, and my jacket, and my short, stubby little T-Rex arms, and honestly, I don't know how the T-Rexes did it by back then, but the, the uh, point is, I'm in there with my uh, attendant, right, and uh, I'm getting the giggles, because I can't, I literally cannot move, and I'm uh, you know, having a, a blast all the time. Such a situation is so horrible that you kind of start uh, laughing at yourself at one point, you know, like that uh, scene in The Simpsons where Marge said, at times like this, all you can do is laugh when she destroyed her Chanel dress. Uh, so then some enterprising uh, ladies, uh, hearing my giggles from the bathroom, uh, they start uh, banging on the bathroom door because there's one bathroom door, this isn't like a bathroom, you know, several stalls in a bathroom, uh, toilets, this is like one room, like a family-sized bathroom, but it's got one door that's directly out into the restaurant, so these uh, ladies start banging on the door, because their table is directly opposite of uh, the bathroom that I'm in, and, uh, they, you know, they hear my giggling and rustling and fussing and all that, and uh, they think that I'm, you know, taking the piss, just basically uh, sucking, fucking, whatever. But the point is, they start banging on the door, and uh, which makes, <laughs> my God, it makes it creates kind of a feedback loop where my giggling only uh, gets worse because I start yelling, you know, occupado to the ladies while literally digging around, and they start begging more because they think I'm t literally taking the piss. So then my aide, uh, enterprising lady, yells out, someone's in here, a male and a female, and <laughs> I just fucking lose it. I lose it, and I start giggling. Uh, I'm not sure what it must have been, the shitty day, the cold, or the, you know, soreness. I was stupid hungry, I was cold, tired. But I started giggling like it was the first joke I've ever heard in the history of time, you know. Uh, because there I am, kind of, this is kind of like a Rodney Dangerfield, you know, getting no respect, no respect at all at the moment. And that's, by the way, uh, for you kids, Rodney Dangerfield is very, very funny, go look at him, uh, go go on YouTube, or something like that, but, uh, the point is, all the, this last, you know, start banging on the toilet door, and I mean, we can't pick this stuff up, I just lose it, and I start giggling, and then, I, kind of the bad day gets a little better at the end, because I had uh, so much of a giggle and a laugh at it, but a true story, you know, a true story, and no, it did not involve drugs or alcohol, but it was still funny. <laughs>